opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. e6 opens up a line for the dark-squared bishop and prepares to castle quickly, while preparing to push a pawn to d5 and recapture with a pawn if captured. The Catalan opening is a slower, more positional opening where white prepares to fianchetto the light-squared bishop on g2, where it will help control the center. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. This is an equal trade. Takes back. This prepares the bishop for development. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. A6 keeps white's knight off of b5 and prepares the b5 pawn push. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This moves the knight to safety. This threatens to kick a knight. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This is the only good move. That was a free pawn. This kicks an opposing knight. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is the last book move. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This misses an opportunity to attack a trapped knight. It is a miss. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is best. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This lets the opponent capture a knight to win material. It is a blunder. This captures a vulnerable knight. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures, from a previous move. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is a mistake. There was only one good move in that position. It is a miss. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. Capturing that rook wins material. It is good. Recaptures. It is best. Takes back. It is excellent. Recaptures. It is best. This misses a better way to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is a mistake. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is good. This threatens to create a passed pawn. This allows the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. This stops the opponent from being able to create a passed pawn. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. Capturing that pawn wins material. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This protects the attacked pawn. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. One of the best moves. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. This attacks a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is excellent. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is best. 
The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is excellent. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is best. This wins time by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is excellent. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is excellent. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is best. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. This is a fair move. It is good. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is excellent. Takes back. It is excellent. Recaptures. It is best. This steps away from the checking rook. It is excellent. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This evades the check from the rook. It is excellent. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. It is good. An interesting move, although not technically the best. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. This steps away from the checking knight. It is best. This is not the best move, but an interesting alternative. It is excellent. Recaptures. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is excellent. This moves the rook to safety. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game.